Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 40. So this episode is a continuation of episode 39. Uh, the last uh, last thing that I cut off on episode 39 was uh, capturing the whim image. Okay, so again, it normally takes about an hour or so. And uh, once that hour is completed, you would get this little dialog box indicating all this yeah, the dialog box indicating that the deployment is completed and successful. Uh, so I'm going to hit finish. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shut this virtual me scene off. Okay. I'm going to open the sidebar. I'm actually going to remove it. And I'm going to show, I'm going to go to settings first and I'm actually going to show you guys where this stuff is located. And do, 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 do. so let me see something. I'm just checking something out. Give me one second, guys. One second, one second, one second. I'm just double checking something. Okay, so. Uh, it's actually this this virtual machine is located here, and I'm gonna delete it, and I'm gonna recreate BJ Tech News again. So I'm gonna go here, here. I'm gonna do a Control A, hold the Shift key, hit Delete, completely delete it, so it won't go to the recycling bin. And uh, that's okay. I'm gonna remove it, remove it. Yes, remove it. Uh, I'm gonna create a new virtual machine. Yep, and let's go BJ test uh, 02, and we're gonna put it at the same location. Doesn't matter where you put it, but you know most likely you guys are doing this on a physical machine. I'm doing everything as a virtual machine, and I'm gonna give it only 15 gigs of space. Now right, let's give it a little bit more. Let's give it 20. Hit next, finish. Okay, so that's good. Now, uh, on the last episode, uh, on, when I was capturing the image, uh, I had the WIM image actually be imported into a uh, partition that I created inside of Folder Capture OS, and this is it. It's about 3 gigs, 2.83 gigs exactly. So what we're going to do is take this captured image, and we're going to import it inside our MDT server. Okay. So, right click here. I'm gonna create a new folder, and I'm gonna cat. I'm gonna call it. Let's call it Golden Image. Okay. And within Golden Image, I'm gonna import the operating system, and it's gonna be a custom image file. So what you're gonna do is you wanna locate the Wim image, and it's in the D drive. Okay. Hit next. Uh, set up. And zip profiles are not needed. You don't need it. Uh, I'm gonna you can change the name if you want. I'm gonna keep it as is. Hit next, and hit next, and give it some time. So what is it doing right now? Is it is actually taking the WIM image and importing it inside the operating system location? So it's actually importing it here. There it goes. So it's actually importing it here. Okay. Uh, because it's about. Two, it's about two, three gigs, almost three gigs. It's gonna take a while until it imports. Uh, once it imports, what we're gonna do is create a task sequence. And within the task sequence, we're gonna pick the operating system that we want this operating system to be pushed out. And we're gonna start our BJ Test 02 virtual machine and Pixie Boot. And we're gonna pick that task sequence to push out that reference image. And hopefully, once it's finished deploying, our background, our shortcuts, our application, our taskbar is the same way that we left it when we created our reference image. Okay, so importing our captured wind image completed successfully. That's a good thing. We're going to hit finish. Give it some time. There it goes. Awesome. And what we're going to do is create a task sequence. And inside the task sequence, I'm going to create a folder, and I'm going to call it the golden image. Again, you guys can call it whatever you want. It's up to you. Uh, image captured. Um, 
image captured whatever it's up to you and we're gonna hit next uh, we're gonna hit next and hit finish again this is only a folder and within the folder we're gonna create a new task sequence and you're gonna give it a name I'm gonna give it golden image and uh, we're gonna call it uh, golden image TS OS TS operating task sequence OS task sequence I think this is the hardest part ever is to actually think of cool names for your task sequence give it a comment if you want hit next we want, we want a standard client task sequence it's gonna want you to pick an OS and the OS is our golden image or our capture image we don't need a specify a product key now uh, give it a, a full name so I'm gonna call it BJ Tech uh, organization is BJ Tech News give it a browser so it's gonna point to my blog hit next give it a administrative password confirm it hit next a nice little summary hit next and let us do its thing this is pretty quick hit finish look at the task sequence double click on the task sequence and you guys can basically go into the task sequence um, tab and modify whatever you want to be modified I'm gonna leave it as is okay next thing that you want to do you want to right click update the deployment share and that once that's um, updated I like to do is go into my boot images and replace my images again I like doing this this is this is my bad habit that I have um, this is up to you if you guys want to do it but I'm so used to doing this it's it's crazy The only reason that I do this, I just want to make sure everything is working. I don't want no problems when it comes down to the WDS or um, booting into the MDT server. That's the worst case scenario when you can't boot. I had problems before, and sometimes the problem is that the WDS is not working properly, or the WIM image is corrupt. It's it's a pain in the butt trying to save that stuff, and then I'm going to reboot restart our WDS and once that's successful good to go we're gonna go back into here we're gonna go to power and we're gonna make sure that we're gonna do the F12 excellent F12 again pick a task sequence okay okay so here we are uh, this is the one that we want our golden image f task sequence that we created uh, we're gonna hit next I'm not gonna join a domain or anything uh, won't do that but I will give a name to the computer hit next don't want to do a restore user data I would set my time to Eastern time hit next I'm not gonna store anything hit next not gonna capture this time hit next and hit begin now this is the time that you sit back relax and just let your um, MDT do all the work like right now it's preparing the disk zero partition it's gonna format it partition do what it needs, needs to do and it's gonna push out the WIM image and hopefully cross the fingers at the end of the deployment our image or our captured image should be the way that we left it with a custom background we modified the taskbar we created two shortcuts we installed Adobe and we install Firefox okay
Okay, so it looks like everything went through. Let me do a let me do a restart of this and see what happens. I don't know. It's it, it can. I don't know, guys. It's you could have. I could have actually had this right here into a task sequence, and I could have actually put that sit prep command around let's say I'm actually thinking about it right now and I could actually put the sit prep into this right here I could have like added into a command I don't know there's always ways to do it I don't know would you know I would like to hear from you guys and see how you guys would do it now the whole capture process is completed now I'm gonna tell you why I'm getting this. The reason why I'm getting this this dialog box because okay, when I ran the when I ran this command, zip prep, generalize OBB, and I did the unintended. When it restarted, and I pixie booted into the MDT, I needed to capture it at that moment because I went back into audit mode, and I ran. Um, our task sequence manually for it to work because of my whole storage issue. This is the only reason that I'm getting this. Okay. So to get around it, um, I could either I could do I could just press OK on this. If I press OK on this, I'm not I'm not even gonna deal with this right now because it's probably gonna sit prep and it's gonna wipe clean all this stuff <laughs> it's gonna wipe clean everything but the only reason that I'm getting that dialog box again guys is because I had to run I had to get back into the audit mode okay and I had to run the task sequence manually for everything to work in my environment because again my environment was <sighs> giving me problems because of storage issues within my MDT server again I do recommend having a large storage Within your MDT server, when you are deploying images, software, as well as as well as capturing stuff, because if you don't have enough space on your your MDT server, you're gonna have problems like what I had, and it's gonna be big headaches. But I guarantee you, once you get into audit mode, you do the modifications, you basically create that XML file, okay, and once you create that XML file and you run this in pref command that I showed you guys on the last episode, it reboots the server, it sit prep, it copied over the default profile into it copied the administrative profile into the default profile the way that you wanted it, and you capture it on the spot. Once you capture it in the spot, you deploy it and it's gonna go into um, the out of box mode and then you see what you're gonna get. Okay? Um, Again, if you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Um, subscribe to my channel to get the latest and greatest tips, as well as leave a comment. Um, tell me, tell me what you guys think about this. Um, give me some feedback. Um, if you do, got if you try, if you guys do try this out, let me know. I am willing to help you out. Um, I'm an email away. Shoot me in a comment uh, below the video and say, hey, you know, hey, BJ, I need some help. Help me out. Uh, there's a couple of things I don't understand, and I will uh, contact you guys and uh, help you guys out. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Just comment below. Please subscribe. Also, check out my, my blog at bjtechnews.wordpress.com. And if you guys have a Twitter account, follow me at bjtechnews. i check you guys later, and uh, thanks for the support, guys. Thank you. Subscribe! Thank you.